So I want to show you how we can make customized visual reinforcers for VRA testing. Uh, with me today, I've got the VRA computer here, and this is the USB stick that we load the visual reinforcers onto. And then this is our VRA screen that we can play them on to the child during the clinic. So I'm gonna take this USB stick and plug it into my computer. And this is where we have the VRA playlist creator software that I'm going to be using to put the images onto that USB stick. So um, what we want to do for, for making custom uh, reinforcers, we can either use still images or we can use moving images. And this is one of the real benefits of using a digital screen solution that we've got almost endless possibilities. First of all, I want to show you how to make some uh, still image um, reinforcers. And for this, I'm just going to use some images that I've downloaded um, off the internet. And in this instance, I'm going to make a list of Mickey Mouse images. So potentially our child is really motivated by Mickey Mouse. That's his favorite thing. Uh, and if you've got a stock of those images ready to uh, present during your testing, it's really nice that you've got those available. So we are in the playlist creator on the computer here. First thing I need to do is go to add new playlist. And then when I scroll down to the bottom, you will see that we've got new playlist one. I'm just gonna rename that Mickey Mouse. And uh, just to the right of that, you can choose the time that each of the clips is displayed for. So next I need to navigate to where my images are saved on my computer. And I've got a VRA media folder that is just saved on my desktop. That's what comes with the system and the default clips are included in there. But I've created some new folders within this folder. And you can see that I've got a Mickey Mouse folder here. And there's a handful of images that I've saved earlier. And what I can do is just make sure that my new Mickey Mouse playlist is highlighted on the computer. And uh, I just press copy to playlist on each of these. And we can see at the top of the screen, they're all copying over super quick. That's now done. So I can scroll down and we can see at the bottom, we've got our, I think it's six Mickey Mouse images all saved onto that playlist. Then simple as take that USB stick out of the computer put it into the VRA computer, and then you just need to navigate to the correct playlist. And there we have Mickey Mouse, and we have a handful of different Mickey Mouse images ready to go. Okay, so that's how we can make some still image reinforcers personalized to what our child is interested in, what they're motivated by, what they'll respond to. But a lot of the time, uh, the moving video files are much more engaging. So I want to show you how you can um, make those as well. So we're gonna pop our USB stick back into the computer where the playlist creator is. And uh, my suggestion here is you definitely need to do this in advance. So if you've got something that the child is particularly interested in, in this case, I'm using a cartoon called Coco Melon. Uh, this is a uh, particular child's really interested in this. Their parents have told me this in advance. I can make sure that I get those particular video clips ready for them. What you need to make your own videos is what's called screen recorder software. So this is freely available off the internet. There's loads of different types out there. Um, and what you don't want to do is use an enormous long video file on the VRA USB stick. You want to get just short clips of each uh, particular cartoon or, or film that you're interested in. So I've taken a long video of Coco Melon and I've used my screen recording software to just record five seconds, three seconds here or there. And I've saved those as MP4 files on my computer. Again, screen recording software will do all of this for you. So it's actually really easy. And as I say, there's free stuff out there that you can use. What I want to do now is go to uh, create a new playlist up at the top of the screen, add new playlist there. We go back down to the bottom. I'm gonna call this one Coco Melon. And again, I've saved the MP4 files that I use that screen recording software for into my VRA media folder. They're all up here on the screen. I'm just gonna take maybe um, three or four of those and transfer those across. Now, the time that's displayed for the videos is a bit more sort of important 
for for uh, your VRA system. What you don't want is it to be quicker than the video clip that you've got. So if you've um, got a video clip that is five seconds long and you want to show that for five seconds, if it's set only to three seconds, then it will cut off and restart back at the beginning. So I'm actually gonna set these all to 10 seconds. Again, I can stop them at whatever point I want. So when my child has turned, they're looking at the screen and then they turn back to engage with the toys, I can switch that image off straight away. So it's not necessarily going to play for the full 10 seconds, but it's nice to have that as an opportunity. So now I can see that I've got four uh, MP4 files, video files under my Coco Melon playlist. I can just take my USB stick out of there, put it back into the VRA computer, then I need to navigate to my Coco Melon playlist, which is right there. And we can see some video files that have appeared on there. So with some simple screen recording software, find a longer video that you want to use. You can get those short snippets of it, save them into the individual files on your computer, and then just create a playlist for them. Okay, so we've seen how we can make still images and we can add in uh, MP4 files, short video recordings from other videos. One other option that I'd really like to tell you about is using familiar faces. So kids of this age, they absolutely love faces. They're really, really motivated by them. And they'll be really motivated by photos of faces that they know, so their own family members maybe. A lot of the time uh, they'll come in and the parents will say, oh, you know, her grandma is just her favorite person in the world, or she's absolutely obsessed with her big brother. And a really nice option is to get some photos taken of those people that the child's really sort of interested in, really fond of, and use those as loaded photos onto the VRA system. You could also make videos. And um, I've got a video of a colleague of mine just giving a little wave to the camera, and I'll just show you how quickly and easy it is to get that loaded onto the system. So I'm going to take this USB part of it back into my computer and get the playlist creator back. Uh, one idea I really like is to make a kind of a people playlist so that if you know they're really interested in faces, you can put in a bank of different people's faces. A nice way of doing this is to use the people that are working in your clinic so that if, for instance, it's a child with a hearing loss who's going to be coming back for a lot of different VRA appointments, they see you all lots of different uh, clinicians and you can load those pictures up and you can sort of, oh, look, it's Anna or oh, look, it's John and introduce them to them almost before they meet them and then they'll remember them and they will become familiar faces. But you could also, as I say, use family members. If you are using family members or people that the child knows, I would recommend that you delete those as soon as their appointment is finished. We shouldn't be using those for other different um, family appointments. So I've made a people playlist here, and I'm going to go and get that video of my colleague waving. So that's uh, saved into my um, VRA media folder. And I'm just gonna copy that over onto the playlist here. Uh, I think the video is about five or six seconds. So again, I'm going to increase the time on that, but you've got full control over how long it plays for. Let's take that out and move it over here. And this is something that the family members could do in advance. They could email you some photos, they could email you some videos, uh, things that you can get ready for that particular patient. So really good idea for those repeat patients who are going to be coming back quite regularly. So let's go and find our people playlist. There it is. And we have Lee waving on the screen. So really, really nice, big photo, big picture, big video that that uh, child is gonna be super motivated by, particularly if it's, as I say, their favorite person. Next up, I'd like to show you how you can make your own animations. So we've been looking at using pre-existing videos or photos so far, but it's actually really, really simple to make your own kind of cartoon style images. For this, we're going to be using PowerPoint. It's really, really simple. So I'm just going to load that up. And uh, a really nice example of a particular type of image that's really useful to have on your system is high contrast images. These are really effective for the very young age uh, end of the age range for VRA, those kind of six, seven, eight, nine month olds, where the vision may not be uh, as developed and the, the contrast between strong colors and black and white and very big images can be really, really effective. 
So this is really simple to do. We're just going to insert a black background. So I'm just going to get a rectangle there and we're going to make that uh, black. And then I'm just going to go to insert a shape. So for instance, you could do maybe some stars. There's really nice, big, bright stars. Let's make those white so that they really stand out. And I'm just going to maybe uh, copy and paste that a few times so that we've got some stars like that lined up. And we'll do that down there. We'll have six stars. And that one over there. So there we've got six stars. What you can then do is just make that full screen. Do a print screen of your full screen there. And then you can save that onto your playlist. So let's do that quickly. We just go print screen like that. And then uh, paste that on top of our image. We can save that as a picture directly into the VRA folder. So I go to my uh, VRA media folder and uh, I've already got a high contrast set up. So I will just say this as stars new, put that there. We go back to our media our playlist creator and we could create, uh, I do have a high contrast um, playlist here, so I'll select that. And then I can add my new stars image over onto that really, really simply. So that's how to make a very simple image in PowerPoint. And you, as you can see on the playlist uh, on the screen, they've got lots of different types. I've done some stars, I've done some suns, I've done some smiley faces, some squares, different things like that. But you can also turn these into video files so we can animate them and turn them into video files. So let me show you how we can do that. Very simply select our star, we go to animation and um, let's give it, let's make it a uh, flash. I think that could be quite nice. So we can go onto a pulse and then we can copy that and add that onto all of our stars. And we just go to our animation pane, we can maybe just uh, make these flash a few more times. We go into timing and we'll repeat that maybe five times. So that then if I go into full screen, we see that that flashes there, then that one flashes and that one flashes and so on and so forth. So you can play around with the different timings. You could have them all flashing at once. You could have one after the other. And if you use that screen record software, when the PowerPoint is on your full screen, it will just record the full screen of, of what that flashing star image is doing. And then that can be saved as an MP4 file and loaded onto your VRA system. So really, really simple way of making a very basic but very effective animation uh, video file for your VRA system. So I really love high contrast. It's very effective for the young um, children. But I want to show you another trick that I have in PowerPoint. So we're going to make a just blank slide here. And I want to introduce you to the 3D models in PowerPoint. So if you go to stock 3D models, there are some 3D models already loaded into PowerPoint that you can use. Some of them are animated and some of them aren't. So let's say we've got a kid who is really, really interested in animals, absolutely crazy about dogs, for instance. So we could pick this little dog here and we'll insert him. And this is a 3D model that is already animated. So I'm just gonna make him a little bit bigger so he fills the screen. And what's lovely is there's actually different animations already applied to him. So you can see here he's just having a little look around, but if we go to this scene icon at the top of the screen, we could go to this one. And this is where he jumps in and bounds towards the screen. And what kid wouldn't love that during their VRA session? Uh, we could have another one where he's Ah, oh, he's got a little suitcase and so on and so forth. So again, what you can do is just make this full screen, use your screen recording software to record this very brief animation here and then save that and load that into your VRA system. So that's just one example. There are some other 3D models that aren't animated. So I'd just like to show you quickly how you can animate those yourselves. So we'll just take another blank page and we will insert, go to 3D models. And say, for instance, they're really, really interested in dinosaurs. 
So uh, let's choose a dinosaur. We'll take this guy here. We're going to put him in. And then again, I would suggest that you make it full screen so that it's as, or not full screen, but as big on the screen as you can make him. So we'll just enlarge that slightly. And this guy doesn't have a preset animation, but uh, you can move him around into different angles. So again, you could just use this to make some very simple static images. They don't need to be animated. But what you can do here is go to animations and we could um, give an arrive animation to him. So he will sort of gently fade in and turn or we could add a swing animation where he swings round and you can increase the strength of that swing, how far it goes, how fast it goes. Um, let's make that strong. And there you can see he's sort of slightly more animated. So just a very simple way that you can make that yourself using those 3D models. Again, what we would do then is make it full screen, set up our screen recording software, click the animation to work, and your screen recording software is then turning that into a video file that you can then load into the VRA system itself. So that's some just quick and easy ways that you can make some static images, you can make some moving images, you can make some animations yourself, you can use videos that you've recorded or that the family have recorded, and uh, then those can all be loaded into our playlist creator. And as you can see, it's really, really quick to move them over, copy them into the playlist, transfer that over onto the VRA system. My last suggestion is that you create a random playlist on the playlist creator where you actually put a whole different selection of all of the different types. So I've shown you today that I've made a Mickey Mouse playlist, but the kid might get slightly bored of Mickey Mouse after a few minutes of it. So it's nice to actually mix them up and that can become part of the game where the engager is, is sort of talking to the child and going, what's going to come next? I wonder who's going to appear on the screen next. And that can be quite exciting because it's a different type of image every time. So I've set up a random playlist here and I've got a car, a cat, some cartoon characters, some high contrast, some of my animations, a plane, all sorts of different ones. You could put some different people faces in there so that when it clicks through on the playlist there's always just something surprising and different and that can be really engaging to help keep that child's attention going for longer. The longer we keep their attention going for the more testing we can do and the more results we can get. Also it helps if they are going to have to come back again that they've had a really positive enjoyable experience. So if they've enjoyed being at the hospital, they've enjoyed seeing their favorite cartoon characters, their favorite people, it helps to make this a softer experience for them. A lot of children already have quite an aversion to hospitals and, um, and clinical settings. So to make this as friendly and as enjoyable as possible, you'll get the best cooperation out of them and the more results that we need for our testing.